This spring's campaign to become the next mayor of Toronto is shaping up to be one that is unlike any we've seen in Toronto for a very long time. A Scarborough MPP is now preparing to run and there's speculation surrounding a veteran politician here in Toronto, possibly making her way back to City Hall. This is a, a great city. It's, it's so important to our province and our country that Toronto succeeds. And, um, you know, I want to bring the experience that I have in the city to make sure that we, we position Toronto for a, a great and bright future for all. Liberal MPP Mitzi Hunter prides herself as someone with grassroots experience while working at Queen's Park. And now she wants to bring that to City Hall. She's preparing a run for mayor, taking time to gather some support at an event last night. What do you think is the top priority for the City of Toronto right now? Toronto has many concerns, you know, the city right now is looking at um, its, its fiscal situation and how, how we uh, can afford some of the things that we need and, and that we want as a city. So, so looking at that, I've already talked about transit, a, a strong passion of mine. Like many others looking to fill the seat vacated by former Mayor John Tory, Hunter says housing affordability and improving city services will also be key focal points for her campaign. Another name that has surfaced as a possible progressive candidate, Olivia Chow. The longtime city councillor turned NDP member of parliament, ran for mayor in 2014 against Tory and Doug Ford, coming in third. What does that do to a campaign like this when you have that many high profile candidates? Yeah, it makes it difficult for anyone that's running to stand out from the crowd. Uh, the voters are going to be inundated by new policies, people they haven't uh, been introduced to before, and it can be hard to sort all of that out. The field of candidates is getting very crowded right now. How do you go about sifting through that and making sure that you stand out above others? Well, I know I am not more of the same. I'm bringing a brand of leadership that is grounded in local. You know, I, I was raised here. I, I went to school here. I started my working life here. A lot of what City Hall does is look to the province for the help. You stand in opposition right now. How do you plan on working with the current government? Yeah, I think everyone knows Mitzi um, as a consensus builder. Uh, you know, I'm the former CEO of Civic Action. I'm very used to working across all party lines and with all individuals and, and bringing everyone to the table. That said, Premier Doug Ford with some thoughts for the person who ends up winning the fight and the potential rocky relationship ahead. But I have a message to the new mayor. You got to be fiscally responsible. You're spending the hardworking taxpayers money. You, you can't be wasting money. Those comments from Premier Ford soon after he said that he expects the race for mayor to be a tough one and the margin of victory to be small. Mark McAllister, City News.